Hey guys, so today we're making a poured cake. I made this cake the exact same time that I was making the RTD2 cake, which is why I didn't change for the video. Same outfit, different video. Porgs are one of the new creatures from the Star Wars Last Jedi movie. Some of you guys had no idea what this was in the community tab. I think they're so cute. I think they're like ugly cute, like a pug, you know? My man is thick as heck and I love it. So let's get started. Now when I decided to make a porg cake, I drew out a porg, see? And then right next to him, I drew a chubby porg, and I was like, my man, he looks like porky porg. Now to create these cakes, I'm using chocolate cakes. Two dome chocolate cakes and two six inch round cakes. I placed a little bit of buttercream onto my cake board, and then on went my first dome cake. Now this was a mistake. <laughs> I should have cut a little bit of the top so that it would sit flat on the cake board, but I thought that smashing it down would be a better option and it wasn't. <laughs> this wiggled like a weebles wobble. Now I added some chocolate buttercream into the middle and then I added my next layer of cake. Just repeated that process with more chocolate buttercream, some chocolate cake, and then my last dome cake. You see how wobbly it is? It's like my favorite wedding song. Wobble baby, wobble baby, wobble baby. I feel like I only go to weddings just so I can listen to that song. <laughs> In any other setting, no thank you. Now I gave my cake a crumb coat of Nulla buttercream. Then I placed it into the fridge to chill and while it was chilling, I was watching this movie called Patty Cakes. Oh my god, that movie is my soulmate. So it's about this female rapper who's trying to come up out of New Jersey. I love the soundtrack and I think it's got a lot of heart. It is rated R, so if you are underage, wait a couple years, yeah? Now after my cake was chilled, I took it out of the fridge and I placed it on a different cake board that had a dowel in the middle because I wanted to keep it from rocking. I need to work on my cake structures because this shouldn't be moving. <laughs> Not as much as it is. Now after it was stable, I started to carve away at my cake. First I created a line so that I could create a separation between his head and his body. And then I just started to carve out a very insignificant neck. Just making it a little bit thinner. So in the community tab, I posted a picture of my porg and I asked you guys to give him a name and tell me his story. I didn't write porg anywhere in my post. So a lot of you guys who didn't know what this was, thought that I just created a character from my imagination. Some of y'all were like, that's an owl. I don't know why this crazy guy didn't put a beak on the owl, but that's an owl. <laughs> Some of you guys thought it was a sloth or a seal. And if I didn't know what a pork was, I would have been like, that's a really weird looking owl. <laughs> now, even though I was creating this very small divide between his head and his body, I still wanted it to be like, one shape. Kind of like a bowling pin where it just like swoops down, you know? I don't know if I achieved that because I think I put too much of a separation. But he is chubby so I guess that's why. <laughs> now I also created a slope on his back and it ended where his tail feathers would be. Do porks have feathers or fur? Do you guys know? After I finished carving my chubby buddy, I gave him a crumb coat. Now in the community tab, I asked you guys what his name was and you guys answered with some amazing names. I decided to go with Chubkins, the penguin eagle sloth thing. He's made of love and chocolate, y'all. Now my cake went into the fridge for 30 minutes to set up and then I added some fondant to create Chubkin's face. I needed to give him more of a snout and some cheeks because I carved away too much cake. After that, I covered my entire cake with some white fondant. And I covered this cake in two pieces because I thought it was gonna be easier. And I'm purposefully wrapping the cake from front to back because I want the seams of the cakes to be at the back as well as the top of his head. They're gonna be hidden by a second piece of fondant. Now with a ball fondant tool, I just emphasize where his mouth is, where his cheeks are, chubby cheeks. Now with some more fondant tools, I gave him two nostrils and that very sad porg facial expression. This is where it kind of looks like the pug, right? The very like, I'm so sad, my face just got pushed in. I'm an owl and somebody ripped off my beak. That's what makes it so cute. Now I applied a very large piece of brown gray fondant. Oh man, he looks like he could be a Sith Lord. 
the way. I should have just left it like this and made him a Sith Lord Pork. So I smoothened out my fondant and then using some fondant tools, I just mapped out where I wanted the gray fondant to fall. Most of the gray is gonna be on his back, but there are hints of gray detail on the top of the cake. Now I wanted to add feather detail, but I wasn't sure if it was feathers or fur. So I just added a little bit of detail by the seams using my fondant tools. I didn't add too much texture because I still wanted to have like a cartoon feel. Now I read an article on Cinema Blend where the director talks about porgs. Porgs were actually inspired by puffins, which is a bird, an arctic bird? Actually no, because there's different types of puffins. But there are birds that usually on coastal areas. They're always by the ocean. Now I was gonna show you how to make the feet, uh, but I don't know where the footage is and I got too lazy to reshoot, so I'm sorry. Now using some golden brown fondant, I created more details for his eyes. I needed one for each side, and I created the same sort of detail that I did on the brown gray fondant. I added two very thick pieces of brown gray fondant for his wings. This is what makes him look super chubby. I love that he's chubby. I used to be a very chubby kid. Oh gosh. <laughs> Ain't really da 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 da, but how about now? Cause I'm up right now. Now I added two pieces of black fondant to create his eyes. And I wanted to give him some details that resembled eyelids. So using a skin tone colored fondant, I created this very long tube and attached it to the edge of the eye with some magic sauce. I added two very thin pieces of white fondant to give him some catch light and then some coconut shavings grass. So he looks like he's just chilling on this freshly cut lawn. He's chubby, he can go and fly anywhere. He's the type of guy like all of his friends are like, we're gonna go fly around the island, do you wanna come? And he's like, you know what, I'm gonna sit this one out. There's a, there's a friends marathon that I've been dying to get to and I'm gonna, I'm just gonna chill and watch some friends. The chubby porg. Oh, I love this guy, he's so cute. My cousin thinks he's ugly, I don't know. She doesn't understand porgs. But I think he's cute, he's super chill, super squishy. I just wanna pinch his cheeks until like they're red. And make sure you hit that notification button so you can see all of my cakes when I post pictures in the community tab and you can be a part of the videos when they go up. You guys came up with some really good names. Cory and his sisters Topanga and they fly around together. Otto, Lance, Dasher, and the runner-up was actually Porgatron. <laughs> I was gonna name him Porgatron, but it just didn't fit with his character. Porgatron is like the kind of Porg that's just like muscular, lifting weight. The only way he's lifted is his own weight. Now make sure you check out the rest of my Star Wars content, including my R2D2 cake, my Rey and Kylo Ren cake, and my Princess Leia doll cake. Is that video up yet? I don't know. I'm running out of time to post. I'm curious, have you seen The Last Jedi and what did you think? I have a lot of thoughts. I'm gonna write them in the comments. There's so many feels. Now I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!